muleys. Today we're gonna talk about configuration properties. Looks like I had a rough night. <laughs> so let's start. Why do we need configuration properties? Basically any kind of hard-coded text data we should externalize into these magical properties. Let's create new project. Sample config properties. Okay, the project is created. We're gonna drag a listener to create a sample flow. So we're gonna listen to some kind of a path. And reply with the value of the uh, property from properties file. So let's set up HTTP really quick. Perfect. Okay. Save. And we're gonna use transform message to actually create a response. And it's gonna be in JSON format. So obviously one way we can accomplish a response, sending a response is by setting the value to a hard-coded value. Message OK. Alright, so that's the response we're gonna send back. By the way, many people do this. There is no need for using double quotes unless your property has a strange non-standard name uh, that utilizes dots or spaces in any case. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna externalize that hard-coded value OK. For that, and I highly recommend setting up a separate configuration file and call it config so you know that all of your configuration goes into this separate file. For example, HTTP connectors, all sorts of connectors, property files, uh, everything goes into config that's related to any sort of configuration. Okay, so now let's create a sample property file. I like calling my property files with the name of my environment or corresponding environment. In this case, we're just doing some local testing. I'm going to call it local properties. And, you know, I'm, I'm coming from mul3. I'm still used to using properties instead of YAML files. So it's, it's up to you. There's really not that much difference, whatever you prefer. Okay, we have properties and obviously uh, this properties file consists of name value pairs separated by new line. Okay, so one of the ways you can edit this property files is by using mule properties editor. I've installed the same mule properties editor using uh, security plugins described in my Mule 4 Anypoint Studio setup video. So take a look at that. Now here we're going to set up a simple property message with value OK and we're going to utilize this property in the data wave that we created initially. So let's go back to config and we're going to create by switching to global elements here. I'm gonna press create 
and we're gonna create that property file configuration properties okay there you go and we are going to point to our local properties this is it if we switch to XML view we can see that all this is is just a pointer to the property files that we created during startup this property files will be loaded and the properties from the file will be available to you for use okay so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna go back to sample config properties and switch to data weave and instead of using OK I'm gonna use P message and what this does is basically P is a function to look up a, a key in properties files that you have set up in the project the value of message which is okay will be returned during the execution of this project okay we're ready to test the code let's switch to xml view here i prefer xml view over wizards but once again that's my own preference i just want to see what's the port so we're we're gonna run this and listen on the port 8081 you can also switch to global elements tab to be able to see any of the connector configurations within your XML files and if we look here we can see that the port is 8081 let's start the project let's open postman I already have this test set up port 8081 this is not SSL it's regular HTTP call let's see all right message okay 